This is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions. And in today's video, I am going to take you through an edit of an image using the Reverie collection. And the edit we're going to do today is on a very hazy backlit image. And we're going to bring back some of the contrast, brighten it up a bit, and add a punch of color. We're going to start with an action under the light category. And this is the backlight punch action. And again, this is going to add some contrast and drama, brighten up everything, and give it some of that color it lost from being so backlit. And there's an extra layer in here called Backlight Brush on Light, and we're going to use that over her face to add some more light back to her face. And we're going to dial that up just a little bit. And then we're going to dial up the Backlight Punch all the way. And so you can see uh, the before and after of the backlight punch action. And then we're going to move on to our base workflow action. We're going to use the clean primer base. So this is a really good base workflow edit for adding a punch of color. And you can see inside the folder we have a lot of adjustments that we can uh, tinker around with. If we need to do a little bit more, add some warmth, add a little bit more pop, lighten or darken, um, boost uh, back the shadows or rescue highlights. We have all those options inside there. But this image, it looks great right off the bat. There's a before and our after on that one. And let's see where we started. We started here with our before, very, very hazy and muddled looking, and our after with just those two actions. And to uh, refine the edit just a little bit more, we could totally leave it there, but I'm going to add um, just a little bit of toning to the background, and I'm going to use the Moody Lash Vignette action uh, at a light opacity. And so I'm going to dial that down just a little bit and uh, brush it off. You don't have to brush it off of the subject all, uh, all the time, but I'm just going to brush it off just a little bit here off of her face so we don't darken it. And uh, then we're going to add a really great finishing action. This is good for just adding that final boost of punch uh, of color in contrast and uh, you can see here that's called the cat's pajamas and it's under the details category and there's a before and after with those edits there and to finish off the edit uh, we are going to add a little bit of light and sparkle to her eye using one of the portrait enhancers from the set you see we have our portrait enhancers here and it's called quick sparkle you just add a little bit of brightness and sparkle to the eyes since they were so shaded by her hat and because we had a lot of backlight going on. You can see the quick sparkle just adds a little bit of lightness and contrast there our before and our after again on those. Again, let's see where we started from. We started here. And this is where we're ending. And for a final touch, we have, this is where the sun was coming from up here, where it's just where we were getting all this backlight in our hair and um, the grass lit up back here. So I'm gonna add an overlay of light from the overlays included with Reverie. And I'm going to choose the overhead glow. You can see here it says screen. That's the blending mode that we'll use for this particular overlay, which means we're going to copy it. We're going to paste it over our image. And we're going to just change that to screen and then drag it up here. And you can just stretch these and resize them however you need to fit your light source in your image. And in 
our overlay helpers down here. We can select uh, several different things, subtle blend and overlay, create a layer mask. We can add some blur or faux bokeh uh, a little bit or a lot. And I'm going to just add a layer mask really quick so I can mask a little bit off of her face and hat. You want to zoom in a little bit more and make sure you're getting the details right there when you're painting. And again, let's see the final before and after using the Reverie set. This is our before. And there's our after. And that's using the Reverie collection from Paint the Moon. And I hope you have a beautiful day.